Hello everyone. Today we are talking about the Uperlite M1 255 nanometer short wave. So this is a little bit different than long wave. This is all the way down to 255 nanometers. We are not playing with Uperlites with this flashlight. So this flashlight is for short wave minerals only, not for long wave. You can see it's labeled right on the front. This has a diacroic filter. You can see it looks a little different than the filter on the C8 and the other flashlights. Comes with a piece of fluorescent agate from South Dakota that I collected. Comes with a pair of UV glasses. Now, sometimes they're clear, sometimes they're yellow. Doesn't matter what they are color-wise, as long as they block UV, okay? Because UVC, which is shortwave, 255 nanometer is more dangerous for your eyes. You really want to wear a pair of glasses with this flashlight. Otherwise, you will have very itchy eyes the next day. And if you expose it to your skin for a while, it may do the same. Give you a little sunburn. Also comes with a two-slot charger and a couple of batteries. And I'm going to grab a couple of batteries that are already charged up. And they look just like this. Uper lights, 3000 milliamp hour batteries. And sometimes you'll also get um, the black batteries that look like this, the Epoch batteries. So depending on which batteries I have in stock at the time, you'll either get 2600 milliamp hour or 3000 milliamp hour, but they're both protected and they both last for a couple hours in the flashlight. So this flashlight takes one battery at a time and you get two batteries and each battery lasts about two hours. Also get a USB charger. We're gonna open that up, show you what the charger is all about. So the charger comes with a charging cable. You plug it in on the top, USB-C, and you put the batteries in like so. There's two little sliders. You put the flat end against the slider and push the battery in and the tops. You can see the button top right there. All right, and we put our other one in just like that. Slides right in. Should look just like that when it's in your charger. These little lights on the top will turn red. When they turn green, your batteries are good to go. Overnight, six to eight hours is what I recommend for charging. And then you are good to go. All right, so we are going to put a battery into our flashlight. And the way you take this flashlight to open it to put the batteries in, you just take the tail cap off. All right, this other section here, this section also unscrews from the flashlight. Okay, so just make sure that you put it back in the way it was in, because I'm not sure if this needs the threads to be the same on both ends. But we're going to put the battery in tip first, and you should see a nice flat end of the battery on the other side. We put our flashlight together, and I'm going to turn this little light off just to give us a little bit more darkness. And I'm going to show you this under shortwave. Kind of hard to see in here in this light, but there's a lot of light in here. And that's a nice green little piece. If you have a piece of willemite and calcite, it reacts very nicely. I'll see if I have a piece laying around. And I do right behind my little setup here. Whoa. And I'll show you with a piece of willemite calcite. You'll see it's very, very bright. Overexposes the camera even. And from a distance, it works very well. Okay. So in the dark, I hunt from about 8 to 10 feet away most of the time with this flashlight. And you have to remember, this is long wave. This is not short wave. So you are not going to find lights with this. In the Great Lakes regions, I find mostly things that are green with this flashlight. And this is one thing I've been finding is a form of rhyolite. And these little sections here are actually black. It looks white on camera, but it's black. And when you hit it with UV, with shortwave, it lights up super bright neon green and it goes all the way around the stone. Might make this into a sphere actually. And 
it, this does nothing under long wave. So that's the type of rocks and fluorescent agates that I look for in Michigan on Lake Superior. But you have to remember that a very, very, very small percentage of Lake Superior agates actually fluoresce green. I'm talking probably two to 3% of all my agates actually fluoresce green. So you need to know that this does not put out a beam like a C8 or any other UV flashlight. You can see the beam is kind of small and from a distance it gets a little bit bigger. The farther I go back, you can see the beam gets a little bit bigger. And this only puts out about one to 2% visible light where a 365 nanometer like a Convoy C8 puts out about 7% visible light. So it is very hard to see where you're going and this takes some practice to use. This isn't a just go out and find a whole bunch of big agates with it light. Um, if you have a large agate collection, it's really fun to go through and look at all your agates and see if any of them fluoresce green. And if you live on the East Coast or the West Coast, that's where all the fluorescent minerals that are shortwave are in the United States usually. And here in the Great Lakes region, we just happen to live in an area where it's all short or all long wave versus short wave. Um, so yeah, every once in a while, take this apart, clean the threads, put it back together. Um, just make sure that uh, your batteries are charged and good to go and you shouldn't have a problem. This is warranted for one year against defects or not working. And if you ever have any problems, just get a hold of me at uperlights.com. Any questions, put them in the comments and I'll see you guys all later. Thank you.